last thing I remember, Halligan got owned. Did she get punched too, or...? Maybe they got clotheslined together. Whoa! Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Must have fainted. Oh my god. My graphics have Brent? deteriorated. Brent, are you there? Nothing. <laughs> Damn. Where you didn't even give him time to respond. Looks like a kitchen. This is one long sentence. So let's punch the time travelers and bring them to the- We'll just leave her in the kitchen? Look, John. The Danish whore's woken up. Point one, I'm not <laughs> Point two, Number I'm one, be nice. Number two. <laughs> She's got a sharp tongue. That's not that sharp. That's where the tongue is, right? <laughs> what are ya? That's none of your business. Ah, uh, isn't it? You and your Sorry, back then we didn't attenuate volume with music and speech. <laughs> I'm sorry, but where's your collection of skulls? Business to know who you are. Is that it? You have no right to hold us here. We're just harmless travelers. Let us go. Ah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You two are staying right here until you've told us what your mission is and when the invasion is due to and, and who your tailor is. What invasion, damn it? Is that how you handle spies? Like, you just leave them in your kitchen until they wake up? You want to walk around freely. Yeah. Well, what I'm talking about. The next Danish invasion. Right, promise. Invasion. This time, King Ethelred will be... <laughs> Seriously, what, is that his name? Slaughter you the moment you set foot on English soil. Listen to me. I am Dr. Oh Melody my God. Tyler from... Oh, that would probably be too complicated. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, damn. It's not complicated. Don't it's just not real to them. Don't be hostile to your captors. Talking Danish just to me, keep girl. it internal next time. Doctors are a Danish exclusive thing. Of course. And that's why you're speaking Danish to me, is it? What? Is, were we not let in on something? Whatever gave you that idea? Save your breath, woman! This isn't the first time we found Danish... I can't read and I can't listen! <laughs> is, it, is it that we're not speaking the same language as them, but they're just too lazy to make that obvious to the... <laughs> to you, but I can explain. There's no need for that. We know all about you. Your king's preparing for another invasion. I'm just gonna repeat the context we've been giving you. Is the other guy just really bored? But I'm sure you're strange. <laughs> he reminds me of me. <laughs> Until then, you'll stay in here to keep us a little camp. You keep standing here and say things we don't understand. What exactly do you call company? You'll soon. Turns out they have a skull museum that needs to be remodeled. You dare touch me, I swear I'll scratch your eyes out. And I swear that unless your friend tells us Wait, why does he have to tell them the what truth? You two are doing here, you will die, both of you. Don't worry, your hands or your life is in Brent's hands, so nothing will go wrong. <laughs> oh, you came into the gate of the worlds, why didn't you say so? We found you at Twelve Bridges. Don't you know what kind of a place Twelve Bridges is? I've heard it's a dangerous place where uh, we should take caution. bridges are? Jeez. I, I know exactly what it is, but why don't you tell me? Christians must not enter it. It is only for heathens like you. But you must let us go. You've no idea how important this is. The 12 bridges are going to get in really bad shape several years from now. Do you take me for a fool? Forget it, hussy. You two are staying right here with us. Now stop your grumbling. Get in a kitchen. Now to ask him about history. <laughs> Tidy up and get us something to drink. Oh, just leave me alone, you bastards. I mean, they don't really oh, seem... Okay. <laughs> just I guess they were fine with that. Never just leave before. through the front door. <laughs> she mean, Thomas. <laughs> she means you're a fool, John. Is there a lady in here? <laughs> Well, I guess I'll just make dinner then. Cauldron. <laughs> I don't understand what's keeping her here or the other guy. Like, it's just a house. Uh, whoa, where what? did you- wait. <laughs> There's a lot of history in here, Slobby. Recipes. Let's see what it says. What, a, a recipe for time travel? To make a strang sleeping drink. Oh, God. Are they illiterate or do they write drunk? <laughs> We... Oh, this looks like a, an annoying puzzle. <laughs> All 
All right, so you need a crimson, golden, and green. So this is going to be a stupid, like... Mm-hmm. What? Guy Fieri's How to Make Sleep Drink Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wooden bowl. Thank you. Delicious. Uh-oh. These jugs smell good. There must be herbs or spices in them. I'll just take all of these things. <laughs> First I gotta get a fingerprint kit, and then I gotta ask him. <laughs> they would look better if they were all skulls, though. Mm. Mm-hmm. Maybe a pentagram that's been... Perhaps, yeah. John! Celebrations are due! Our pay has arrived! And the prisoner came back! This is of silver for each of us! Let me explain what ten pieces of silver are. Pieces of silver at one ounce each. You again. And here's the exchange rate for them in modern US dollars. Well, what can I get you? In God's name, stop asking stupid questions. She's a prisoner. And hurry! Yes, very well. Why would you- We completely trust you to bring us exactly the food and drink we want, for no reason. Now, what is You've no motive to poison us! Oh, except- find any wine or meat in the kitchen. What? John, you numbskull! Her name's not John. To go to the market, <laughs> buy some provisions. Why me, blast it? Let her go. I've been glued to this chair for two years. <laughs> to escape. What a- Fool you are. But you're letting her serve you food. <laughs> then don't be a fool. Then I won't call you one. I said, don't oh my call God. me a fool. I think he's getting mad. What do you want? What do you want me to I'm get? I'm getting so furious. Care. Damn it. Think of something. Bring us something to drink. Bring us tea. What are you holding right now? Interrogating your friend. You're not interrogating him! I'm angry. <laughs> John, just shut up, will ya? I could offer you something other than tea. Oh? What's that? A knuckle sandwich, ha! Well, is she. What? And I am really stupid. Perhaps <laughs> you're not so much of a cow as I thought you were. What? Uh, uh. Perhaps. To be honest, I've always had a soft spot for men who know what they want. <laughs> She's a good one, honey. <laughs> <laughs> She's hilarious. <laughs> Put a microphone in front of you. Just come a little closer. Why is the music like building up? That, John? <laughs> that girl's quite tame, really. What wonderful equipment you what have. What is supposed to be going on right now? <laughs> Isn't it just? And it's all been christened with what, blood. What is anyone talking about, though? Take a good look. If you like, is he talking about his penis, or is it... Or, wait, no. You'll have to be patient. I must brew it first. This is totally confusing to me, though. I... There's a leather pouch hanging from that chair. What oh, chair? Tell Where? Me more, honey, yeah. But, <laughs> why did we... Yoink? It's like an alien egg. <laughs> <laughs> That was so not subtle. <laughs> like, he, she literally just took the pouch out of it. I also don't know how the player is supposed to be able to see that pouch that completely blend in with the background. You pour that on his head, Game of Thrones style or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just scald them all alive. That seems easy. Did she, did she like, think his animator putting, like, a hot bowl of soup in her, like, pocket? <laughs> Listen, she's a doctor. She knows what she's doing. Oh, fair. An old English coin weighing one. Oh, good thing he said that out loud for no good reason. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it is matter. It smells of aniseed. Aniseed. Oh, they really tried on uh, drawing those herbs. <laughs> <laughs> Did their best. They animate the most inane shit in this game. I can't understand it for the life show, of me. like, really important things. She has got to get this yeah. recipe down to the ounce. I know, right? Like... The weed has made the water blue. Yeah. Oh, God. That's how you figure out which herb is which, I guess. Right. That's exactly This is the worst video game. Now the water has become greenish. Yes. Dried leaves. I don't know which plant. Right. 
That's exactly what Thank you, Lord Cuddy, for I mean, I guess it is. I don't know. Now it's turned into a brown slop. This herb. Oh, that's the tagline for the game as well. Exactly one ounce of the herb. This herb smells of cinnamon. Are we like five hours later? The water is absolutely clear. And then eventually she gets the water back to where it started. Now just drink out of this bowl. Drink out of this delicious looking bowl. <laughs> just hold it up to his mouth. Yeah. That ought to get you going. I don't know what this is. But... <laughs> Wait, what? It doesn't look good at all. It looks like glue. <laughs> and then she makes you shrunk the bowl. Wow, incredible. <laughs> it looks like she poured it right in their crotches. <laughs> but it'll work. Just wait. Like it's a big prank. I should hope so, because I'm getting tired. Very tired. <laughs> oh my god, I'm frozen. Whatever, I guess I'm not that tired. I, so, I, so they're fine? <laughs> oh no, we have to make more of it? Oh, come on. What? No. That, that would be terrible and stupid. It's I'd better impossible. give them the wake up water just in case they get too tired. That should do it. Oh. Sweet dreams, my friend. Oh, we just need the water oh. for something else, I guess. Yeah, I guess we're taking some just in case. Miss me steal his cell phone so I can call for help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A key. The soldier had it with him. Shouldn't you know that before you took it? <laughs> Now, what are they doing to Halligan? Trent? Melanie! At last. I'm here. Oh, bye. Over here. And there's no art in here. It's very boring. I can't comment on anything. At last? Wasn't I quick enough for you? <laughs> this really is one hell of a rest. Uh, Brent, I brought you something Where to drink. Anyway? I think this is an outpost of the British Army. <laughs> <laughs> it seems a number of wars were fought in this area. All right, maybe like the history I'll lesson <laughs> later. I'll let you out as soon as I read you from this tome. Maybe we should have read a few <laughs> history books before we came here. Where are the soldiers now? She is a doctor, Brent. I made them a drink that seems to have had the desired. Based on my knowledge of skulls. <laughs> now let's get out of here. Unlock the door. Yes, of course. <laughs> Why was there even <laughs> I wish there was a no option so yeah. badly. Eh, you know what? <laughs> get away from the door, I'm unlocking it. Let <laughs> me just throw this key like a dart into the lock and very good. Okay, now how do we get out of here? The, the stairs? <laughs> Wait here. I'll go and see whether what? the fits Why? Me. Why? It was just go. Just stand what? down here by yourself with the rat. In fact, show yourself back in there if you would. <laughs> Nothing about the sequence made any sense. The door was right there. Like, why not run for it? Or yeah, looks as if that won't work. <sighs> Search the people. Well, I give up, Halligan. We're stuck here forever. <laughs> Let me guess. It doesn't fit. I, go up with her! <laughs> Why did you have no. to say? They're dead asleep. I'm Halligan. I'm completely helpless. I wonder what's in here. Could it be the outside? With this great <laughs> it's too heavy for me to shift on my own. Teamwork. Use your telekinesis, thank you. Oh wow, go figure. Why would you put crates there? Ah, oh, just as I thought. Take yeah, this is specifically to hide it from prisoners. Oh, yeah! Wait, why did she here? think that? Looks like a secret passage. Oh. There, isn't it? Are you scared? Scared? You just oh. time traveled. Come, Come on. on. Let's go. <laughs> Brent? Oh boy, one of these. Oh, but this I is a maze. A it sucks. Neither can I. Maybe we ought to go back after all, don't you think? Rubbish. There's no one here. Yet. We'll find the way out. What if you trip over something and die and... There's not a glimmer of light here anywhere, Brent. Oh! <laughs> Brent, <laughs> uh... Maybe you don't do that here. Brent? Brent, this isn't funny. Hello? Brent, this is gross. Is that you, Brent? <laughs> <laughs> ah, one! <laughs> huh? uh. You fell... into... what? What? Wait, did we miss a cutscene somewhere? I don't think so. I really don't think so with this game. You know, <laughs> I guess I can see buildings. I they might be buildings, Halligan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, I gotta see. So you are the stranger who came. To Hi, I'm Don Druid. <laughs> we meet at last. I am very pleased to see you. Oh yes, I can't say the feelings mutual. I want to get out of here this minute. Who are you anyway? Hush. 
Lady Kong. It's a weird name. Will happen to you here. I am your friend. Uh, My see. friend. That's I don't have any of those. <laughs> we can do without friends like you. We have been no, that we didn't miss anything. Cutscene wise, this is indeed right afterwards. Okay. I'm reading a walk. What's that? You've been expecting me? That's impossible. I came here from the year <laughs> 2000. You can't even know I exist. You came to us through the gate of the world. Got me. Is this like this Blake's ancestor? Has the power to alter the course of history. Oh, maybe. Right now, I don't even know where I am. Because exposition seems to have been passed down from generation to generation. <laughs> <laughs> Come to us in our greatest hour of need. Wow, you, you must be really our desperate. Order is facing extinction. <laughs> thousands of years, we have been handing our knowledge down. From oh my God, it is Blake's descent. <laughs> Every pupil was instructed by his mentor for twenty. How oh good we are, druids. <laughs> he just explodes. <laughs> I see. And mm, suddenly, we're good friends. Serve either good or evil. <laughs> The mentor's teaching. So I have a terrible stomach ache. I apologize. <laughs> a pupil without a mentor is left to his own devices. Thank you, That's shit, Obi Wan. Only those who learn to give themselves the Heimlich can be druids. And evil. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. Cut to the chase, old man. Killed his mentor. Halligan is the dick through time. Yet he succeeded in becoming the leader of our brotherhood. He is now preparing a ritual. Mightier than any that has ever been performed. Gonna eat people? He wishes to transfer the entire. I've done that. To five. Duh. Nice old news. To ensure that the power of Boring. Is gone forever. These infants will be stronger than any druid the world has ever seen. They'll be able to lift and thirty druids. The music is implying that this is really boring. Wah <laughs> wah <laughs> They will be tyrants. It's like something that would happen in an '80s comedy about this. <laughs> Invincible. Sounds familiar. Together. We can prevent this from happening. A small circle of brothers have united under my leadership with the intention With of you, it could Sirsten. be a square. But Sirston seems to suspect something is going on. We probably shouldn't have told him. We occupied this <laughs> he has been also, there's time travelers coming in, so he's a little on edge. Entering yeah. the places of worship. We know there is a secret room where he keeps a crystal ball. We also know that Sirston has had our temples close to the river. Altered. They say a traveler from the future will come with the great salt to destroy it. <laughs> Why do you need my help? <laughs> we are few, and Sirston is having us watched. We need but not right now, at least. <laughs> and you think that's me? No, actually. And sadly, yes. Yeah, the power to alter the course. The woman who came with you, but she's still asleep, and I'm killing time. Capable of doing. Find the room. That harbors the crystal ball. I have arranged for you to be allowed to move freely within the monastery. <laughs> execution. The day of my execution. Oh, did I miss that part? Oh, I probably should okay, have Okay, you're gonna that. die soon. I was gonna tell you, but I mean. I must leave you. <laughs> oh, <right>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where will I find you? What's your name, anyway? I am called Maglor. What's your real name, though? <laughs> oh, great. Oh, great. Maglor. <laughs> Inspector <laughs> Miller? And Melanie will... Hold on. Where did she get to? You forgot all the important questions! Oh my god. And what's Janet up to right now? <laughs> what does the word execution mean, by the way? Can you tell me everything you just said? I've been looking for you. Have you discovered anything? I, what? We just <laughs> talked! Stay around here first. Don't you think you might be able to show me around the monastery? Yeah, can you question. give me a tour? Like, like what kind of host are you? You're really Alligan hears that a lot. Sure that Sir Stan's spies <laughs> do not bother you. Everything else... Can you tell me what all these herbs do? What have you done with Melanie Turner? Why is your bed too small for you? For the moment. What do you mean, for the moment? It means for the, the short term. Oh. Is the same day when your life will oh, what a coincidence. Sounds really but she gets to go first because she's a lady. Execution, so to speak. And when will that be? Cersei right now. Decreed that the day of the ritual Actually, five minutes ago, you're too late. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so the execution will happen when it's time for us to be executed? Yeah, basically. <laughs> I've been to see her and told her everything. I do not know when. Let's slow down. When is the ritual? Why the day you'll be executed? Oh. Hmm. We're sentenced to death, and Melanie Turner goes to look at the light. Oh, you idiot! Okay. I'm sure I'll find her. Roll eyes. I'll see you later. Catch you later. Bye. Always. Later. Head's always in a book. That nerd. <laughs> Time to open all these doors. Not a pretty. Are thing. you Melanie? <laughs> Perfectly ordinary crates. There's something behind them, though. Supplies here. 
Oh, it's a rat. Wait, what? Well, no. well whatever. <laughs> bacon. I'm sure there's nothing important. What? How did this uh, happen in the next room over? <laughs> need to work on their design. This door's secured with a heavy beam. I can't open it. The beam's secured with locks. It's very secure. I don't even want to try. How do you, like, padlock a wooden beam in place, exactly? <laughs> because you're a druid. Oh. Good grief. There must be hundreds of candles. How tacky. <laughs> I'll take these candles. <laughs> the candle... <laughs> it's the candle in Halberd room? <laughs> I like how disgusted he was by the amount of candles. Like, this is excessive. <laughs> what are they kidding? You? Uh. Huh? What do you want? What? You is your best? voice okay? Right. <laughs> and you are the man who came all the way here just to let me. Couldn't they have used a different, like. Me, the strongest man in the world. Right, it looks exactly like the other guy you just spoke with. And also Blake. I've come to offer you a deal. <laughs> These candles for my life. <laughs> Are offering me a deal? You overrate your importance. Game show music starts playing. I will not do deals with you. Oh, I never mind. Runs away. That you can't know. What might that be? I won't tell you until you give me your word that oh. you let me and my friend go. Well, again, you're not really a good uh, negotiator. That I will fall for a trick like that. There is nothing you can know. There is nothing you can bargain. He knows Halligan too well. I will not enter into any deal with a useless creature. He knows Halligan very well. I, <laughs> I was going to say he's not wrong. Foot, if it pleases me to do so, that is all you. What are you going to ground him to death me? with? Paperwork? Now get out of my sight. He's just like my <laughs> boss in Scotland Yard. Don't go <laughs> back. Goes back in. What you want? Are you so? Can I borrow some die? scissors? I have- I know something you don't know? Now get out! One moment, please. Just one short moment. May I ask you one- This is the worst villain. You do not need to ask questions. It would be a waste of time answering you. You would not understand the answers anyway. <laughs> I'm not through insulting you! I think you're very clever. Just like all fools. You will soon understand just how pointless each of your- I don't understand how the other guy negotiated letting him walk around. So does he have a painting of a lever? Will be multiplied and <laughs> oh my god. Or like a rake or something? Within it. it will make me immortal. And you will be no more than a pile of dust that the wind will carry out to sea. Oh, well, that sounds nice. I hate the new prisoner. Don't let him wander around. Oh, please, Sir Stan. <laughs> The ritual has been perfected. Your lives will end. Why you are free to walk around until then. You are indeed don't lucky to be allowed. Don't to tempt him. A few more days. My brother Maglaw spoke up for you. Why? And I was incapable of refusing him. Because <laughs> he is just very so soft-hearted. Such a very soft heart. Maglaw <laughs> said. <laughs> he suggested making you our witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> the first witnesses of our unlimited And there is no one else that they could have used instead. That worked. Our unlimited power slash candles. Two people? You're right, Maglaw. We can't find that in this millennia. You will die. A great honor will be bestowed upon you. You will be the last sacrifices of the old world. <laughs> Does he have a trapdoor in front of his oh, office desk? Completely insane. <laughs> <laughs> what right do you have to keep us here? What right do I have? <laughs> Why did they Why not did you type know? out ha ha? Yeah. I want it. The Council of the Twelve selected me to lead this order. It's because I have the deepest voice. I climbed the Druid the corporate the ladder mother, fair and square. My voice. As the undisputed leader of this brotherhood, I have decreed that any creature that ventures close. So is this a brotherhood of two? Is mine to do with <laughs> okay, is there are there others here? I alone determine <laughs> who may live and who must die. I just and must fill out the appropriate paperwork. <laughs> I create and I destroy. I use only the eternal law. You know, for someone who hates us so much, he's spending a lot of time explaining all this. We approach the monastery. That's not much of a reason. You don't understand. 
You cannot understand. So you think he has like a pee pot there, or is there an actual toilet that he uses? <laughs> That's a chamber pot for sure. Okay. Really small chamber pot. Well, <laughs> part of the being all powerful. <laughs> I only eat nuts and berries. I don't need a very big chamber pot. And have you seen my window? I have made them a part of the grand scheme of things. You're just a common tyrant, except a little more of a megalomaniac than most. This is a great debate. Thank you. Unity are the keys to all great deeds. The unconditional submission I expect from my followers. Is now let me tell you where the druids came from and what happened thousands of years ago. The kind of power I will gain for our order. What happened to Lord Sinclair? I liked him a lot better. I have a feeling they're related in some way. You may be right there. I've heard your order is where. I heard a rumor from the mice in the crate room. From whom? From a fool like yourself? What? Well, I do talk to myself a lot, yes, but... ...but a great new beginning, even if... You've convinced me. Kill me now. Idea. Or did you think I did not know of the ridiculous conspiracy that some of my misguided brothers have set up? Are they all off today, by the way? Of it, haven't they? I do not expect you to betray them, but they are greatly mistaken where their abilities are concerned. And they underestimate my ability to filibuster. That is. Which of my brothers are betrayed. Did he like actually say anything in the past few minutes we've been talking to him? No. Lots of you will be destroyed. I'm the best. Yeah. We're really great. Yeah. I mean. Get out of my. I really feel like I've learned nothing. I should have led with that, really. <laughs> no. You mean I don't have to talk to everyone who walks in? I don't understand this all-powerful thing as much as I thought. That's some sort of herb. You never know. Yeah, I'll just jam it in my pocket. Whatever. Whatever, yeah. These are roots. A plate of tasty-looking grapes. Maybe later. <laughs> These herbs, I don't know, maybe tasty grapes? Nah. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm going to need in the future. That looks revolting. The cutting the board. board. Ew. <laughs> it's the cleanest part of that. That's crucible. Jeez. I'll take it with me. Even though it looks filthy and disgusting. <laughs> We've seen your office, Halligan. You have no room to talk. I know. Hey, I well. drew it. Here's <laughs> his background, Jerry. Hey, it's the table of transformation. Yeah. An old library. Ugh, look at you waste your time here. And Melanie's about to debate someone, I think. Melanie, there you are. Brent! Where have you been? I was worried about you. I was just having a look around, and then I ended up here in the library. Are you all right? Comic relief music! Okay. <laughs> Melanie, we're in pretty serious trouble. What on earth are you doing in here? Reading? We've got some really interesting books in here, Brent. Take this one, for example. This one's about a cat, and he has an adventure. It was written by Christian monks. It says... Hold on, Melanie. Before you start your academic... I don't give a shit. You may be interested <laughs> to know that I've just seen someone called Maglor, who was good enough to tell me that you and I are to be executed. It was really nice of him, honestly. Charming chap, really. Yeah. I've seen him, too. He was here half an hour ago. I'm spending my last few days reading oh, about this wonderful I place. it doesn't bother you? Well, as for me... I had other plans for the eve of my life, to be honest. Like crying a lot. What do you think I'm doing here with these books? I'm looking for something that might be of help to us. Like a really heavy book we can use to knock the druids out. It's time to start reading, Melanie. We <laughs> must do something. Well, at least I found out that this monastery used to be inhabited. Ah, uh, well. So we just have to time travel back to when Good they time. came about. Why and... don't you listen? The druids <laughs> besieged the monastery. They couldn't find a way in. Not one of the monks that tried to flee during the siege ever came back. The monks Bottom line it for a Melanie? Sometimes for days on end. I think I can guess what the druids were doing to them. That's where the chronicle Talking to them endlessly? Sentence. The <laughs> druids must have found a way into the monastery. Melanie, this is all very interesting, but we just... You just did the secret history. passage thing. Do it we again. We are in trouble now. <laughs> I know, Brent. That's why I suggest... You have a good look round the monastery, while I carry on. But not just stay in here. Just you do all the work. Way out of this. According to this one, there's a cat in a hat. Of course, I'm scared. <laughs> but we mustn't give up. If we just sit around and wait, the ritual will be completed, and then we'll die. The end. 
Perhaps we should never have come here. No, perhaps not! <laughs> <laughs> to let the circle rule the world? That may yet happen anyway. The only difference is that we won't be there to see it. We're not dead yet, Brent. There's still a chance. We have to try. No, I've given up. Mr. Blake, he helped us and paid for it. Technically, he's not dead he yet. Yes. <laughs> ah, Mr. Blake. If only he could have seen all this. Uh, what? Oh, what? I don't know. I doubt this monastery is very <laughs> handicap accessible. So. This confirms all my theories, all right. <laughs> we can. I'll take a look around this place. Will you still be here later? <laughs> of course, where else am I going to be? Take care of yourself. <laughs> You're not going out later, are you? I guess so. Hmm. He can close his door with his butt. You can just walk outside? <laughs> At least I can enjoy nature before I get executed. <sighs> There's like a thing you can climb right there. Like it's- A lot of vegetables. I don't need any. <laughs> what a bunch of losers growing salad. vegetables. I hate That's salad. not salad! <laughs> <laughs> it's that weird pre-salad. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're really getting ahead of yourself on that one, Prince. She's a vaguely round piece of bread. A hamburger? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, a hover card. It's a horse. <laughs> it's a pitchfork. That's just not my style. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I hate it what? so much! Do you have a style, Helgen? This pipe seems to lead straight to that small outhouse with the chimney. This is the system. It's filled with water. Is he recording the audiobook for their monastery? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, a lever. I hope it's not too rusty. Oh, God. It works. The water's flowing. I can't wait to die. <laughs> oh, no, the salad's all wet. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you need herb herbs for that, though? Uh, okay. Oh, my God. They hate this so much. Lovingly animated worms. <laughs> you can get like a worm. Most like, of dig the game's budget was used on this. <laughs> yeah, it's it a bit off. weird. But why? Why do you care about the the druids? We're gonna kill now you. Now the in their worms water. will drive the druids away. I've done it. <laughs> he's gonna wait until he's ready to be executed, and then throw the worms on them, and they'll be like, "Ew, gross!" and panic. <laughs> I may be dead, but you don't get any salad. <laughs> These are earthworms. Good. All right. <laughs> well done, Alex. Congrats. Helen. Yeah, all right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I have worms. Oh, goody, goody, goody. I can't wait to show Melanie. She's going to be so grossed out. I can't wait to see her like face. A workshop. An anvil. This could be the smith. That is definitely not your style, Helga. <laughs> I'll trade you a sword for words. Uh. Yeah. Looks like the smithy's fireplace. The fire's out. There must I'll be just walk by for you. <laughs> I should speak to the smith. I heard that. Good day, friend. How are you? How should I be? Every day I work my fingers. <laughs> you look like someone I can unload on. I've <laughs> been waiting for someone to ask me that for so long. No one cares how I'm I doing. Understand. I always tell my life story to prospective customers. You, huh. you think that, do you? Do you spend all day toiling hard for a pittance? No. But at least you're working here of your own. No, I make much more money than you, sir. <laughs> Oh, a prisoner, are you? You probably should go back to prison. <laughs> well, that's hard to explain. I can tell you're a prisoner because they let you walk around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I can explain it to a simple blacksmith like you. She's in the library prison as we speak. Lady, that's good. How is that good? I haven't seen any ladies here for a long, long time. Well, check these earthworms out. <laughs> Do you think she'll like these? But you'll keep away from her if you know what's good for you. Ah, <laughs> your wife, is she? No, it's not that. But, look, I don't think this But is I hope so! <laughs> She's with me. That's all that needs to Oh, concerned. shit! Right. <laughs> I don't know how I can look at him. <laughs> I don't- I wouldn't be- I don't think he's gonna kick that smithy's ass if it came down to it. The damned fire keeps going out. Ever seen a smith who could work without a fire? What's the matter? Does the rain get in? Oh, what do I know? There's Would wet salad help? With a fire in here. Nothing works. But everything's supposed to be finished in next to no time. Oh, and I'm working tirelessly, as you can see. Scotland Yard? Where's that? In Scotland? 
Laugh track. No, no. Let's just say it's a place it takes a long time to get to. Laugh track. Mm. All I know is the settlements on the other side of the river, and I curse the day I left them to come here. I should have stayed in the village. Yes, I think I'd have been better off staying in London too. <laughs> and so they became good friends until Halligan's execution. <laughs> west of the river. Don't know my way around there. So what? I'm not likely to see anything. I don't understand the point of any of this, though. Like, like why he's here in the first place? Are you allowed to leave here? Oh, well, yeah. I kind of got that because he's supposed to stop the ritual from like a thousand years ago somehow, right? Right. Mm -hmm. But what does the earthworms or the split ha smith have anything to do with that? You don't seem to like the ritual was originally designed to get rid of earthworms. I think he ate him. Ah. Years and years I've spent slaving away in this smithy, and my children are starving anyway. Once I dared to go to Sir Stan's room and ask for more money. And? That's he laughed a lot and <laughs> talked about being all powerful. What did they do to you? Ten lashes of the whip and my bare back. Like while he was sitting at his desk? Lie down for <laughs> three weeks. I've given up asking questions since then. Why don't you fight back? A strong man like you? I do anything to hurt those villains. Those rapscallions. Powerful. And I don't think they are. They just seem like tomorrow. dudes. Yeah. So I'll be punished in some horrible way. So I'd better get to work as I have been right now. <laughs> yeah, I definitely haven't heard enough about druids. What can you tell me about? Not allowed to tell you anything. Ah, that's. So I probably shouldn't have told you anything, stranger. I don't know about you, but I'm quite attached to my head. I don't fancy being slaughtered because you're so nosy. Oh god, the questions keep multiplying. <laughs> I don't really know myself why they need their stuff so quickly. I think I'm helping to prepare some big ceremony of theirs. Anyway, they keep strengthening their fortifications. <sighs> Have you noticed anything unusual around here lately? Just the time traveler. No, not really. Guy collecting worms. Uh, in the monastery. Oh, hang on. There was something. I heard children crying. Oh no, that was Halligan. <laughs> it was dark. I, I couldn't see much. But I think the crying was coming from one of those private rooms. Did it sound like babies crying? Yeah, it did. Just like that. Interesting. You Did it sound like they were prepping for an intro cutscene to a video game? Oh, nothing. <laughs> you ask? Hmm. Just asking. I just like to ask stuff. <laughs> yeah. Of some sort. Don't ask <laughs> the next list of stuff. questions is like twenty don't deep. About their heathen religion. And also, they asked me to build <laughs> diapers. There's hardly any druids left in Britain these days, anyway. Except here. I'll have a look around if you don't mind. All right. I mean, I don't give a shit. <laughs> You're gonna die in a couple days. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. You don't pay me enough to care about prisoners walking around. All right. There's a bird's nest up on the chair. How can I fuck that up? Hmm. <laughs> 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 well, are you quite comfortable? Don't talk to the Did bird. Leave that bird alone. This little fellow's not very talkative. It's, it's almost like he's not human. I imagine there would be any <laughs> What? Of course, it ought to like them. But why should I feed this bird? Anyway? Yeah, that's a fair guy. question. Yeah, yeah. That's very good. Wait, why did <laughs> they slowly slide off the roof? He's trying to butterfly affect it, I think. Lovingly animated. So that you... lets him. Oh, there's still one worm left. Get it. Sorry, it had to be done. Oh, to start the fire for the blacksmith. Pipes. Yeah. But that I don't know what that accomplished. Looks a bit too creepy for my What? It's not any more creepy than the rest of this place. A tree stump and an axe for You just time travel. <laughs> I don't like the look of this place. Ooh, Nicky shed. How horrible is this blacksmith? Like every time I start the fire, smoke comes back in. Is something blacking the chimney? Nah. Forget it. I've never solved any problems. Wait, you went outside? I never thought of that. Yes, there was a crow's nest on it. I took it down, that's all. Oh, you're great, stranger. You just saved my neck. Whoa, calm down, don't be too grateful. Sounds really sarcastic, honestly. Yeah, right? Oh, thank you. Don't mention it. Don't get overexcited. He's not. After all, I only nearly broke my neck 
climbing up on the roof. Halligan, shut your stupid mouth. <laughs> right. Well, uh, no one you. asked you to do that's it, Halligan. I can do. You know. Now that sounds better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't think of anything at the moment. I saved this I method. Mean, I taught him how to be polite. Anyway, my life depends on me getting back to work, so I'll keep standing here. <laughs> do you know anything about the skeleton that is? <laughs> 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 I'm still lost. Like, how does this do anything? Have you not been? Uh. What? <laughs> Why? Out. <laughs> what? Why would he agree to that? You wish to see for yourself what lies in what the red tape of the execution that I guess he's <laughs> I mean, I'm so great, so I get why you'd want to watch me. I guess that's fine. Man's curiosity. Uh, all right, don't psychoanalyze me. Just let me do it. Brought you here, and curiosity will kill you. Then you don't mind. <laughs> Be my guest if it amuses you. Watch me preparing for your final hour. You do not bother me. As long All right, as you enough. Know. Thank you. Yes. I shan't even know you're here. <laughs> I am going to talk to you the entire time, but please. <laughs> Takes out his quill. Now tell me your full you name. <laughs> Only an you idiot would appreciate the fact that he's going to be executed by me in the room. Earth and a shovel. Hmm. There's rather a stiff breeze. Wasn't that painting there. in, uh... Yeah, uh, yeah. his mansion. Mm -hmm. A torrential river. Well, they all were, weren't they? What the? His secret compartment is empty. Ta da! -da! <laughs> a little piece of wood. No, now it's not empty. I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pranked him so good. Wow, look at him working <laughs> towards that execution. It's fascinating to watch. God, man, I don't know if him or the smith is going to finish quicker. Oh, man, <laughs> who knows? The fire's on. Thank you. There's not a crow on top of this part of the building. Oh, my God. Is he going to start a fire in that guy's room, like, right in front of him? Now the crucible's in the fireplace. It'll get nice and hot in there. What? Melt wax? He likes this place so much more than Scotland Yard because people are agreeable here. They just let him do whatever. Why did they animate this? <laughs> I just want to get some stealth boobies in there. Mystery of the Druids. The, the salt destroying the castle they didn't bother with like a pre-rendered thing, but the <laughs> fucking candle wax melting. Make sure they understand how that works. It's important. Let's go through the evil Wait, am I in a different way. castle now? Uh, oh shit, I lost <laughs> I'm still not following, like, with the wood. Yeah, and the... <laughs> Didn't I tell you not to speak to me? Can I speak to you? <laughs> I have lots of things to say. Undisturbed access <laughs> to one of the rooms in the monastery. Hmm. Which room? Sirstan's room. Is that possible? Out of he question. said that you're allowed to go in! Room. He locks the door and never lets the key out of his sight. That settles that, then, doesn't it? The or end. is there some way he could be lured away? Couldn't you get him out of his room on some pretext? Just long enough for me to take him- That sounds completely reasonable. Yes, I may be able- You to just said you couldn't before! Like, just a moment ago! I completely changed my mind. Oh, I better think of something to do, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you would say yes. I don't have a follow-up. <laughs> What was I doing with the wood in there again? Um, something. Uh, melted a candle. <laughs> Melanie, I put wood in the bad guy's room. Is there something we could do with that? Wait, I can use the other ones to- Oh no! Is there anything in your book about Excellent. melted wax and how to stop executions with it? Good look around in peace. The, the actual you already conversation! took a look around in peace. The secret compartment's closed with the stone again. But Sir Stan forgot to make sure it fits perfect. <sighs> He's not as clever as he thought. Also, you just kind of remember where it was. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, you were just there. I don't feel I should be doing this. What? what? <laughs> I feel like I should be trying to prevent my violent death. It just feels rude to go through other people's things. I just don't like it, you know? It makes me feel gross. Uh -huh. Don't do it! Don't do it in here! <laughs> oh my god, I'm... 
Oh my god, I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna make now a wax imprint, and then he's gonna remake the key. Mm -hmm. That's, that demonstrates amazing foresight from Halligan. <laughs> That's the wait, 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 the wait. The key is to this room? Or no? Uh, no. That, that can't be right, right? No, that would be... Yeah, that's not Because he right. wouldn't be able to get out. Yeah. It was just that the guy said he locks the room and takes the key with him. So what is this key? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen anything that's been locked. Yeah, we haven't... Uh, and... Oh, God. We're going to go to the smith. Give me some melt... Okay, but... Please, I'm so busy, you must leave. This doesn't work like that, because you need help. something else that, like, you know... I ate it, I'm sorry. The impression of a key. Thank so, you! <laughs> I've helped you, now I'm asking you to help me. Make a key like this one. I can't. Impossible. Sorry, Strong. Credits roll. Why not? <laughs> I tried. I'll tell you. They'd kill us both. You owe me something. If it hadn't been for me, you owe me your life. You tomorrow anyway. <laughs> you said so yourself. Oh, they'll punish me. Too. I haven't done shit since you removed that crow. <laughs> I, I must be going crazy. All right, give me that. All right, I whatever. I get a clo Why don't you bring him the real no key problem. and then I'll come back later to pick it up? <laughs> Bye. Who <laughs> walks right back in? Okay, ready. Oh boy! Oh boy! Key! Oh boy! <laughs> I've got to tell Melanie about this. Hello, Melanie. How's it going? I made it through half a page. I read really slow. It describes all the details of the heathen practices in this region. The monks kept an eye on them because the heathens were their competition, you might say. What were these heathen practices? Now I'm interested. I, I ought to mm. tell you. You wouldn't be too pleased. Oh, right. I get it. Thanks for being so considerate. <laughs> I, think I've I wouldn't know what that's like, but thank you. <laughs> How are you getting on? I need a bit more. I don't know what I'm doing, the Melanie. It's rather large, and it's hard not to get lost. Also, I keep finding some druid or other. No, you know. No, you have it. Doesn't liar. That hasn't happened at all. What can I do? I keep beating I up all these room. druids attacking <laughs> me. <laughs> Let alone a way out. I'm doing amazing stealth to get rid of the gods. Have you you should see my kung fu. Nothing we didn't already know. It talks a lot about the <laughs> All the druids keep mentioning how good I am in bed. <laughs> yes, that's right. You've got to hand it to him. He'd done his homework all right. I found everything he said about the four elements in the Christian monk's original texts. I don't see how the elements are going to be. Melly, will you ever get to the point? Anything can be useful, <laughs> Brent. I just thought I'd mention it. Do you remember what Blake told you? Ah, the meteor! Ah! I gotta go, Melanie. I had a key in the oven. Remind me. The druids believed that the four elements were the stuff that made up the world. Oh, interesting. Air, water and earth were the three basic And then there were elements. babies, right? Fire's only purpose <laughs> was to transfer one element into the state of another. Which means? Fire will turn solids or liquids into <laughs> gas. Kyle, Fire can turn a gas into a liquid. Take a combination of oxygen and hydrogen, for instance. Fire stands for transformation. The transferal of material. Is Melanie fucking explaining what fire is to. <laughs> well, I mean, it's Halligan, so. Melanie, could I ask you something personal? What is fire? Do you really think this is the right time? No, probably not. Tell me about your fucked up marriage again. Well, what is it? I'm curious. Were you married? <laughs> if we ever get out of oh, here God. alive. Yes? Would you. I mean, could you ever bring oh, yourself. God. Read Go to other books pizza to me? For pizza with you? Yes, I think I'd like that. Could you stoop hey, so low? <laughs> to go out with me, Halligan. I've never been. Will you help me rake up my tab to $500? Yard to look for you. I took a look at your office. I couldn't miss the boxes. Oh, I see. You're a slob, Brent. You're a train wreck, Halligan. We have no chance. Yes. I should try and tidy up in there sometime. But you'd come with me? I told you, yes. Right. It's a date. I'm so surprised you say yes to a date with me. No, I actually have a reason to live. Before I was just pretending. <laughs> what do you say? Of course. I'm sure we will. My life's turning around. Hey, okay, Melanie, I'll go on looking. Good luck. I don't need those subreddits after all. I hope there's an Al's Pizza place here in case we can't time travel back. <laughs> 
We're going to die, but at least I got a date. Score! Mr. Blacksmith, I have a date! <laughs> <laughs> Was I supposed to be doing something? <laughs> okay, can you turn this key into an engagement ring now? <laughs> <laughs> Who, who smith you this key? No one. Yes, yes, all right. Give it to me. <laughs> sure you won't change your mind. This could kill you, you know. You know, if you eat it or something. No, I'll be all right. Give me the key. Oh, well. I have the power of love to protect me. <laughs> Here you go. Take care of yourself. Stay away from my girlfriend. All right, I will. Thanks a lot. Why does that get its own little, like, item box in the <laughs> corner there? Whatever. Uh, I saw the boner after talking to Melody about a date. <laughs> <laughs> now to tell Maglor and that other guy. <laughs> They'll be so impressed. A date? You? <laughs> Can we delay the execution until we have our date, please? We must observe this date and laugh at it. <laughs> Maybe you don't forget Melanie. How's that? <laughs> oh my god, it's the final... Huh? Uh, oh, they have a whole underground society? Of druids, I guess? Duh. <laughs> nothing. It's <laughs> just, just nothing. <laughs> well, that's, uh... That's the penultimate... Episode. Well, I'm on the edge of my seat. I can't wait to see what happens next. Boy, uh, that's gonna be really stupid. Yeah. Yeah, it is.